podcast of Smells Like Teen Angst. I'm Kiki, and today we're going to be talking about the Taylor Jenkins Reid movie, One True Loves. One True Loves is a love story that follows a woman and her husband who dies and then comes back from the dead to wreck the fact that she is about to marry another man. And then she has to go through all this emotional turmoil to figure out, does she really want to marry this new man? Drama. Or at least you'd think it would be. (laughs) Hello? Sweetheart, it's Jesse. I'm alive. The movie stars Philip Basu, Simu Lee, Shang-Chi, and Luke Bracey. This movie rushes straight to the point. The sad thing is, while us as an audience are supposed to be torn between these two men, neither of them have been given enough backstory for us to really care about either relationship. Everything is given to us in montage. And I mean quick montage, which really isn't enough to make you feel invested. Also on top of that, the montage is split a lot throughout the film. So you're learning bits and pieces throughout the movie when maybe if you had a little bit more of that history towards the beginning, you might have been able to feel for both of them. I understand that book to screen adaptation always suffers a little bit because there are some things that we can make up in our mind when we're reading that just don't translate to the screen. In this case, I really would have died for like a few big montage flashbacks of pivotal moments in the relationship and life to kind of set up what Emma was losing before she crawled out of this dark place, reconnects with Sam and decides to build a new life. But then I started to think that the good days could be good weeks or good months. I'm finally ready to live again. Emma? Sam? So when it starts, it leaves you in a place where you're already team Sam. Sam is the guy who picked up the pieces. Sam is the guy who loved Emma with the distance. Um, And this giant space that she had to leave open in her heart from losing her first husband. Sam understands what second place is and he's so comfortable with it. Just knowing that Jesse was her husband isn't enough to make me root for him when he comes back from the dead. I found myself wanting to go back to Simu Lee being charming, talking to his students in class when I should be invested in Emma trying to rekindle this relationship with Jessie and the experiences she's having with her dead husband, or back from the dead husband. Sadly, the way this movie is formatted, you're not really given a chance to root for Jessie. I mean, from Jump, only a real villain would want her to go back to Jessie because they're just two different people now. And that's where my question comes to you guys. I have not personally read this book. If you read the book, can you tell me, is this kind of how it read? Is this adaptation close to the book in general? Is there more relationship stuff that we're missing, but it's a movie, so we don't have time? What's going on here? Because overall, I can say that the performances were fantastic. Everyone is taking the source material they're given and they are acting to their fullest capacity. I really believe these characters. I just don't think I have enough story to really care about any of them. She should be with the person that she loves the most, not a person that loves her the most. I can't lose him, Marie. So don't. Go tell him. Overall, if you are a Taylor Jenkins Reid fan, check it out. Let me know, because I don't. And as always, thanks so much for watching. I'm Kiki. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what I got wrong here. I'll see you guys on the next one. Goodbye. Au revoir.